Hello everyone, welcome to learn data structures and algorithm in Python course. In today's lecture, we'll be solving some problem on stack. Let's go to our first problem. This is called previous smaller element. So let's say you will given an array, array containing some element. And in this array for each element, for each element, let's say 12, you have to tell what is the previous smaller element to it. Let's say if I take 12, what is the previous smaller to this? This is 5, right? For this, this is 5. Let's take 14. For 14, what is the previous smaller element? Is 18 uh, smaller than uh, 14? No, right? Is 9 smaller than 14? Yes, right? Now for 14, it will be 9, right? So for each element, you have to tell what is the previous smaller element. Let's take the first element. For 5, is there any uh, previous smaller element to th this 5? No, right? Because this is our previous, uh, this is our first element. So when you don't find any previous element, you have to return minus 1. Otherwise, you have to return that element. So for 5, it is minus 1. For 12, it is 5. For 6, what is previous smaller element to 6? This is 5, right? Because 12 is greater than 6, but 5 is less than 6, right? That's why we have to return 5 here. Now for 9, what is the previous smaller element? Is 6 less than 9? Yes, right? So for 9, it is 6. For 18, what is previous smaller? 9. For 14, what is previous smaller? 9. For 2, what is previous smaller? 14, no. 18, no. 9, no. 6, no. 12, no. 5, no. So there are no such element we could found that is less than 2 here, right? That's why we have to return minus 1 here. Now for 7, what is previous smaller to 7? This is 2, right? I hope you have understood the problem. What is the problem? Now think about uh, how we can solve this. How we can solve this using brute force approach. So brute force approach could be, let's say I, uh, let's say remove this one. Let's take one element, one single element. Let's take only 18. Okay. Now at 18, let's say index is four, right? I equals to four here. Now to find, now to find previous smaller element that is uh, less than 18, what we have to do? We have to iterate from i equals to 3, from i equals to 3 to i equals to 0, right? Means we have to iterate whatever element at the uh, previous to this to 0th element, right? So we have to run a for loop. Now this is for only one element, right? So if we have to find for each element, for 5, for 12, for 6, for 9, for 14, then what will happen? First, for each element, we have to iterate whatever the previous element to 0th element, right? For 7, for 7, what do you have to do? We have to iterate from here to here, right? So what will be the time complexity for this algorithm? It will be O of n square. Why? O of n square. Why? Because we are first iterating through all element we are going through all element so that will take o of n time then for each n we are again checking from n minus 1 to 0 right n minus 1 to 0 that's why the time complexity for this algorithm will be o of n square now let's see how we can solve this using stack using stack to do this first thing what i have to do i have to take a additional uh, space we have to take a stack okay then what we'll do? We'll maintain this stack as let's say I go through current element 14, right? So I have to make sure all the elements in the stack, all the elements in the stack that are that are should be less than current element. That is the first thing. That is the first thing. We have to sort this stack such that all the elements is less than 14. Then what is the next step? The second step is then the second step is so. In brute force approach for 14, we have to check in this array itself, right? Is there any element is smaller to this element? Why where do we check? We check the in the array itself. But when we use stack, we check for the item at the stack itself. Means we only now what we'll do, we only check for the peak element at the stack. Okay. We only check at the peak element at the stack. So what I mean to say let's try to understand okay let's remove all the things okay now let's take a stack here let's consider a stack okay 
st okay now let's go to our first element first element is 5 now what we'll have to do we have to check we have to check is the stack is sorted that means peak of the stack is have to be less than 5 right so as there are no element so what we'll do as the no element that means stack is empty right so then what we'll do we'll check for the peak element so is there any peak element that are less than 5 no right because stack is empty that's why we'll return minus 1 that means any element that are less than 5 is not present in this array right right then what we'll do we'll push this 5 here why why we push this 5 here because 5 5 may be one answer for the remaining ones right maybe 5 is one answer for this 12 or maybe for the 6 right that's why we push in this stack then what we'll do we'll go to this 12 okay this element now we'll check if this peak element what is peak peak is 5 is this 5 greater than 12 no right 5 is not greater than 12 okay then that is done then what we'll do then whatever the peak element whatever the peak element that will be our answer you can see for 12 5 is our answer right that is done then what we'll do we'll push 12 here okay done then we'll move to 6 we'll move to 6 okay then what we'll check we'll check is the peak element is this peak element greater than 6 yes 12 is greater than 6 then what we'll do then what we'll do we'll pop this thing out we'll pop this thing out why why pop 12 because let's say until this until this 12 was smaller element okay now let's say this is 9 okay or let's say this is 19 this is let's say uh, 19 okay now what will be the previous smaller element for this 19 is there any option uh, so 12 could be our answer no right because it will find 6 here it will no, no go back to 12 again it will immediately find 6 here so 12 couldn't be our answer whenever we find a smaller element to this that will be our answer we don't need to store this one right that's why we are removing this 12 here okay now hope you understand that's why we are removing 12 from this okay so whenever i find so initially it was 12 right so when we are at this element so we are check we are checking is the top element is the element at the peak greater than this yes right then immediately just remove this one okay just pop this okay pop now again we'll check is this 5 greater than 6 no right 5 is less than 6 that means okay this part is done okay then what we'll check what we'll do whatever the peak element that will be our answer okay then what we'll do we'll store 6 here okay then what will next we'll move to 9 okay then the same thing so we'll check for the peak element so is this peak element greater than 9 no right then whatever the peak element whatever the peak element that will be our answer 6 will be our answer then we'll push 9 here okay next we'll move to 18 okay then what is the next thing we have to check is this peak element is this peak element 9 is greater than 18 no right no then 9 will be our answer okay then what is the next thing we will add 18 here okay 18 here then we'll move our pointer to here in this element 14 okay now we'll check is the peak element what so what is the peak element here 18 right is the peak element is the peak element greater than this element current element yes right 18 is greater than 14 then what we'll do we'll just pop this thing okay we have popped the top item okay that uh, then what we'll do the next thing again we'll check now the peak element is 9 now is 9 greater than 14 no right no then the answer will be 9 here okay done then we'll add 14 here okay push 14 here then move to next pointer we will be here 2 now at 2 first we'll check is the element at the peak greater than 2 yes right 14 is greater than 2 then what we'll do we'll remove this 14 from here okay pop this item 
then again we'll check now what is the pick element 9 so until we couldn't find uh, the item that is less than our current element until that we'll do this same thing we'll check this pick element then if it is greater than current element we'll be removing this so currently the pick element is 9 so is 9 is 9 greater than 2 yes so we'll remove this thing okay pop this then we'll again check again check is 6 is uh, greater than 2 we'll pop this up okay now the peak element is 5 now is 5 greater than 2 yes so we'll remove 5 also now we'll check but but the stack is currently empty right there are no items in this stack that means we couldn't find anything that is less than 2 and the answer would be minus 1 here then we'll push 2 here okay then we'll move our pointer to here 7 okay then what we'll do we'll check so is 2 greater than 7 no right then 2 will be our answer then we got this array so this is our resultant array this will be our result now how to write the program for this first we have to take a stack okay so we can take collection or we can take a list python list to implement then what we'll do what we'll do we'll take a resultant array right where we'll be storing this element one by one whatever the previous element right previous smaller element then what we'll do we'll be check when we are at current element so for that to iterating over uh, every element we have to take a for loop right we have to run a for loop that will be running from 0 to n minus 1 right now for each element what we have to check we have to check in this stack in this stack in this stack whatever the peak element whatever the peak element is it greater than or equals to this current element what will be the current element current will uh, element will be so if we take this array if we take this array so current will element will be error of i right i will be current index so if we find this peak element is greater than this then what we'll do immediately we'll pop this so st dot pop the top element then again we'll check this again we'll check this process okay so that's why we'll put this inside a while loop while this thing happens then pop this up and also before this we have to again we have to check so again we have to check is stack is not empty right that also we have to check then we can do this operation okay then what is the next thing so if we find if we find any element at the peak then we can we can say that this is our result let's say so whatever the peak element whatever the peak element so let me write this so if st that means stack is not empty stack is full right so if stack is not empty then whatever present in the top that will be our answer and we'll put this item in the resultant array right res dot append this item okay else 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 what will happen if stack is not empty then what will do then what will do we'll append minus one right will append minus one first what we'll do we'll be running a for loop from zero to n minus one for each element then we'll check until until this peak of the stack is greater than error of i current element until then we'll be popping this item because we have to maintain a stack those element are less than current element why because we are finding smallest element near a smaller element right that's why and then we'll check if the stack is not empty then whatever the peak element that will be our answer otherwise minus one will be answer and at last whatever the current element error of i that will push inside stack so st dot append this item okay that will be our program so let's go to our vs code okay let's say this array is given and we have to find the previous smaller element uh, for each element right uh, okay first let's write a function so name it as prep smaller element okay then it will take an array okay then what will return it will return an resultant array okay 
so initially let's take a resultant array as empty now what we'll do first we'll create a stack we'll take a stack so st equals to empty list then we'll be we'll be going through each element in this array right so for that we'll be taking a for loop for i in range and range will be up to this a length of the array right then what we'll do uh, we'll check is the peak element is the peak element greater than current element so to do this we'll take a while loop while stack is not empty and st of minus one that means peak element if it is greater than equals to our current element what will be our current element it will be error of uh, i so until then what uh, what we'll do we'll just swap this st dot pop okay then when it is done then we'll check if stack is not empty then what we'll do we'll store so raise dot append uh, the current element right uh, sorry whatever in the peak so stack of minus one otherwise we'll be appending only minus one else raise dot append minus one so if we find there are any element at that stop then we'll just add this item otherwise we'll push minus one and then the next thing uh, <clears throat> next thing what we'll do we'll just add this item to the stack so st dot append our current element error of i because this could be our answer for the uh, coming elements right so at last just wait on this result okay now let's just call this so let's print this thing print this prep smaller element and pass this array so what will do it will return an array that uh, that contains all the elements prepared to corresponding element right now let's try to run this now for five what is the previous element it is minus one right because there are no such element okay now first let's uh, print this array also print error here okay now let's clear this and let's run this again so for five is there any element previous to five that is smaller than five no right that's mean minus one for 12 it is five for six it is five for nine it is six for 18 it is nine for 14 it is nine for two there is nothing because that's why it is minus one for seven it is two right so that means it is giving current answer now let's say uh let's say i have to find previous greater element in spite of smaller element you have to find previous greater element that means let's say i am given this array okay now let's say i have to find greater element then what we'll do that means for 5 is there any greater element no right that means minus 1 for 12 is there any element that is greater than 12 no right that means minus 1 for 6 is there any element that is greater than 6 yes 12 right because 12 is greater than 6 for 9 what will be the answer is there any element greater to 9 yes right 12 for 18 what will be our result minus 1 for 14 what will be our answer 18 for 2 it is 14 for 7 it is 14 right so this is called previous greater so the thing will be same so here we are maintaining the stack we are maintaining the stack where all the elements all the elements are smaller to our current element right smaller to our current element but to find greater element we have to maintain the same stack where each element where each element should be greater to our current element that will be some small change so that means here we are checking for whatever the peak element if it is greater than of error of i then just pop it out right if we find any greater element to current element then we pop it out but here if we find any less element any smaller element to our current element then just pop it out then just pop it out right that will be our change the remaining code will be same remaining code will be same so to find greater element what do you have to do the code will be same the code will be same so in spite of greater than equals to we have to make is less than equals to right 
then the remaining one will be same now if we try to run this now you can see for 5 is there any greater previous greater element no right that's why minus 1 for 12 is there any uh, previous greater no right minus 1 for 6 it is 12 for 9 it is 12 for 18 uh, nothing is there minus 1 for 14 18 is there for 2 14 is there for 7 14 is there right so this is called previous and uh, previous smaller and previous greater element there are similar problem called there are similar problem called next greater or next smaller so it was previous smaller and previous greater right so there are similar problem called uh, next smaller and next greater so this is also similar to this what will be the difference the difference will be here we have started iterating the array from left to right right index from 0 to 8 minus 1 there what will happen there what will happen will be iterating the array from last to first right from last to first we will be iterating the array in reverse order that is the difference otherwise it is same so you can explore by your own so this two problem next smaller and next greater otherwise it will be same only will be iterating the array from the end right so i hope now you have understood the problem how to solve this previous smaller and previous greater element so later we'll be solving uh, another problems or based on this concept so here we are just storing this element right we are directly storing this element but later we'll be solving some problem where we'll be storing only the index of this element right so that's it for today see you in the next lecture thank you